What's going on everyone? In this video, I'll be showing you a speed test of the Fire TV Cube and the Fire TV 3. In this video, I'll be using a multi-viewer, which allows me to put both devices side by side on my television in order to give you an accurate representation. The only discrepancies I see with this is how fast I am able to click the button and the fact that the Fire TV Cube has a lot more features, which may impact the performance. Some of these features include the hands-free Alexa, so just take that in mind. Before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and restart both devices to see kind of which one boots up faster. Now, I wasn't able to do one from when you plug it into the wall because otherwise my recording device would not record that part. All right, so if you ever need to restart your device, you can see that the Fire TV 3 does it much faster. But once again, this may have something to do with the hands-free Alexa and the fact that the Cube has more things to do. I want to start the speed test with YouTube. Let's see what happens here. As you can see, the Fire TV 3 opened YouTube much faster and we have our videos. I'm going to go ahead and play Marshmallow because it shows up on both devices and right off the bat you can see the Fire TV 3 is a few seconds ahead. So you be the judge of that. Next up we're going to use a simple app such as Downloader in order to browse a website. The Fire TV 3 is slightly quicker and you can even see that scrolling down to the bottom of the page it arrived there much quicker. Even scrolling up, it pretty much performed the same way. And when I went over to Buyer's Guide on this website, great website by the way, you can clearly see that the Fire TV is slightly faster. Next up, we'll be opening Plex. And for this, we're going to stream some media that I have on my server at home. So let's see what happens. I'm going to go ahead with Harry Potter 1. Now they both took a while to load the movie initially, but eventually one is quicker than the other. As you can see, the Fire TV 3 is still ahead in this competition. I'm going to go ahead and stop the movie before I get a copyright strike and let's go ahead to the next. All right, we're going to open Your Fired, which pretty much performed similarly on both devices. It was really barely noticeable, but you can see it if you pay close attention. Next up is Sonic CD, which asks me for a game controller, so I launch anyways. And here the difference is pretty noticeable. You can see that the animations loaded much quicker on the Fire TV 3. All right, we'll go to the next app. Next up is Hill Dash. At this point, there is no confusion here. The Fire TV 3 is still performing just as well. We're going to open another app, Flappy Birds, and see what happens there. So the game loaded quicker on the Fire TV 3. Once we got playing, you can see that it's pretty much very similar. I even got the same pipes for some reason. I don't know how that happens. Last but not least, we'll be checking out Kodi, which is the app that I use the most for all my media playback. And without a doubt, the Fire TV 3 is quicker, even when loading third-party add-ons, which you can check out my website to install some of these.
All right, now we're gonna test which apps were able to stay in the background due to the RAM. So Flappy Birds was almost identical. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little quicker on the cube, but we'll see if something changes. Now Hill Dash looks like it's starting from scratch on both devices, but you will see that the one on the Fire TV Cube kind of froze for a little bit, and then it continued later on. Now Sonic CD gave me an interesting result. As you can see, the Fire TV 3 was able to keep the game in the background, and I can quickly jump into it and start playing while the Fire TV Cube is still loading the game from scratch. We'll go ahead and check out your Fired, which pretty much restarted on both games. And here you can slightly see the difference in the Fire TV Cube, but once the game starts, it's pretty identical. This was really the only game that left me with a few questions, but I don't play it that much to worry about it. With Plex, I could continue watching Harry Potter on the Fire TV 3 while the Fire TV Cube initially crashed, and then I had to open the app once again, look for the movie, and continue playing it. Last but not least, we'll check out YouTube, and for this one, it's pretty much had to refresh on both devices. Neither of them were able to keep it running in the background. But even in refreshing YouTube, the Fire TV 3 still beat the Fire TV Cube. So that's pretty much it for this video. Once again, the Fire TV Cube has a lot more features, which may impact the performance. That is why it is taking the upset in this speed test. For me, the clear winner was the Fire TV Three. So the verdict is, if you are looking for a device that simply streams, maybe plays a few games, you can go ahead and buy the Fire TV 3. If you are interested in any of the new features that the Fire TV Cube has, go ahead and choose that option because so far there's no other device like it. But again, if you don't care about any of that, just go for the Fire TV 3. That's pretty much it for this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one.